Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Marlon Latt, and this is Filmmaking 101. Eight years ago, I walked away from a career job to become an independent filmmaker. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. And I ain't going nowhere. So these are the basic things that you're going to need for doing like an independent film. So the first thing you need is script. Now, depending on how in-depth your film is going to be or how long it's going to be, if it's like two or three pages, which is like two or three minutes on a screenplay, one page is about one minute of film time. So if you're doing like a really short film, it's going to be three minutes, then you need like a three page script. If you're doing five minutes, five page script and etc. Depending on how much dialogue or how in-depth your film is going to be, you're going to need a script. So what I would suggest you do is download the application um, Celtics, Celtics, however you pronounce it. It's spelled C-E-L-T-X, and it is an awesome tool. If not, if you don't know how to write or you don't really feel like writing, but you have some friends and you just want to get together and kind of tell them what their lines are going to be, that's fine too. It's just better if you have that organization and uh, people can memorize their lines and be totally prepared and totally act, basically. Second thing you need is a camera. The way technology is today, you can use your phone. Like if you have an iPhone 5 or an iPhone 6 or 7 or 10 or whatever the case may be, the Samsung phones are good. Uh, there's plenty of phones out there that have really high quality resolution you can use those. Now they do have their limitations, but if that's all you have, then that's what you use. Gotta make a film, right? Get it done. Your next option for inexpensive uh, cameras is going to be DSLRs, okay? So these are the cameras that you have to attach a lens to, okay? And you can attach different kinds of lenses for different types of shots that you need. Sony, Panasonic, Canon, Nikon, they all have cheap, high quality, I mean, cheap in price, but high quality video that you can make a film on, okay? So you can look some of those up and I'll leave some links in the description. If you do not have money, you cannot afford a camera, you can always rent a camera. If you're gonna film for maybe two days or something like that, you can always go to lensrentals.com. They have a bunch of different cameras. So you can rent a high quality camera for probably less than a hundred bucks and get a really good film shot so also keep that in mind number three microphone now if you don't have a microphone sometimes you have to work with what you have every camera that you have has a built-in microphone it's not always very good but it depends on what you're shooting if you're shooting inside in a controlled environment it's probably going to be fine but if you're outside and there's a bunch of noise like the camera's going to pick up on all that noise so what you want is a microphone um, that's going to be more directional, um, preferably a boom mic. But if you have like a DSLR camera, and I know you've seen this, and you have a microphone mounted on the top, that's going to be pretty good. Uh, but the problem with that is you're going to have to have the camera usually close to whoever is talking. So the ideal situation would be to get a boom pole and attach a microphone to that and hook that up to the camera okay so you would need somebody to operate the camera and somebody to hold the boom mic and those poles are like they're pretty tall so they will stretch like a long ways and that means that you know the guy that's doing the sound can stand over here while the person is over there talking the microphone is still close okay so uh road microphones have some really good microphones right now i'll leave a link in the description to that so they're very affordable so gotta have a microphone if you want good professional sound number four you need actors okay now they don't have to be professional actors if you're just starting out get your friends get your family you know just grab somebody you know and make them get in the film okay now there's two sides to that your friends and family are going to be there for you when you need them at least they're supposed to be okay so they're going to be there however they may not be the best actors so depending on what kind of production you want and i suggest if you're just starting out don't even worry about that too much. It's just going to be fun making the film. So just get it done. But the more you get into this and the better you get, you're going to want professional actors because they will be more believable. Okay. So definitely need actors. Number five, 
location, location, location. Locations are very important, okay? It's just like if you're trying to do a post-apocalyptic film and you're filming like in your neighborhood and there's cars driving by and people walking and people jogging and doing stuff like that. Like it doesn't look real and it doesn't look believable. Now, a lot of people when they do post-apocalyptic films, they will just go in the woods. Well, that works because there's nobody around. But what would be better? Um, like an old junkyard or something like that or an old abandoned building? Like these things make your story more believable. So when you think about a location, definitely understand how important it is to the story. The better your location, the more believable your story. Number six, you may or may not need this lights. Depending on what you're shooting and where you're shooting, if you're shooting indoors, you may need lights. But if you have a good low light camera, you may not need lights. If the place where you're shooting has a lot of light coming in from, like it has a lot of windows and it has a lot of natural light coming in, you may not need lights. If you're shooting outside, you don't need lights. So I'm, I'm going to suggest if you're just starting out to try and film something maybe outdoors or in a place indoors that's well lit. Okay. So you may need lights. The ring lights that you see a lot of people on YouTube using, uh, which is one that I'm using right now, they're very good for a lot of the shots that you will need. So consider that the ring lights are anywhere from probably a hundred dollars to, I mean, they can go on up to like five or 600, but all you need is the basic and it will work for you. Number seven, this is the very last thing, but the most important thing that you need, you don't have to pay money for determination. You have to be determined to make this film, to, get this film done. You have to have it more than anybody else. It's your project. Okay. And if you are not a hundred percent behind it, then how do you expect for anybody else to be? So you have to push this thing through. You have to be determined no matter what anybody else says, because people are going to tell you that you can't do it or it's going to be too hard or the weather is bad, or you should do it a different day. There's going to be a lot of things that people tell you but you have to be determined to get this done. And if people start falling by the wayside and can't get their schedules right, or, you know, there's a myriad of things that can happen. If you want to get a film done, you get it done. If it has to be you and the film by yourself, you make it work. If it's just you and one other person, make it work, get it done. You can do it. Those are the basics. And this is Filmmaking 101, and I'm Marlon Ladd. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications. You can also give me a thumbs up. That would be very helpful. And if you have any comments or questions, definitely leave them. I love interacting with the community. So let's make this happen. Until the next time.